All right, let's talk about three mistakes that students make with circles. So in this one, I have x squared plus y squared equals 25. The first mistake that students will make is they say that the radius is going to equal 25. No, no, no. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, the formula is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So therefore, 25 equals r squared. So r is not equal to 25 r is going to equal to five. The next mistake is when we have a center off of the origin. So we have x plus five quine squared plus y minus three quine squared equals nine. So a lot of students will say that the center is going to be at five comma negative three. No, no, no. Remember guys, the formula is x opposite of h quine squared plus y opposite of k comma squared. So therefore the center is not five negative three, but the center is actually a negative five comma positive three. Now in the last example, what students will make is they see an equation like this and they say, all right, I'm not gonna make this mistake anymore. The center is going to be at zero comma negative seven, got that, and the radius is going to be at four. Well, you partially had it all right. The center is gonna be at zero negative seven. However, before you go ahead and identify the radius, you have to make sure you have it in standard form. So the first thing you need to do is get rid of these coefficients. So divide by two on both sides, you'll have a x squared plus a y plus seven quantity squared is equal to an eight. So yes, the center is at zero negative seven, but the radius is gonna be at the square root of eight, which we can rewrite as a two square root of two. 